Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The way now seems set for the Jamaica Labour Party leader Andrew Holness to be sworn in as Prime Minister of Jamaica. On Monday night, the final count in St. Thomas Western, the last of the 63 constituencies, was completed, showing the JLP's James Robertson retaining the seat over the PNP's Marsha Francis by a 457-vote majority. JLP spokesperson Kamina Johnson-Smith says the party is awaiting word from the Governor-General, Sir Patrick Allen, on when the ceremony will be held. Patrick Powell, the businessman accused of the 2011 murder of schoolboy Kajil Mays, is to return to court on Wednesday for another attempt to start his murder trial. Powell's trial was expected to begin in the Home Circuit Court on Monday, but had to be put off. The Dean of Discipline of the Kingston College, Ainsworth Walker, has defended the school's decision to turn away scores of 4th, 5th and 6th form students who were yesterday slated to sit midterm exams on the North Street campus. The boys were sent home because they were sporting mohawk and paid haircut hairstyles against the rules of the school. In sports, Gregory Daly has been returned as the president of the St. James Football Association following Monday night's special general meeting at the Montego Bay Cricket Club. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers mainly across hilly inland areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.